Ruth there, Victoria Uruguk of Great Britain. 51.05 this season. Can she get under 51 seconds? Now would be a good time. There's Lina Irby of the USA. She is, as are so many of the uh, American squad, a sub 50 second 400 meter runner. But 50.67 this year. Shawnee Miller-Webo, well only eighth in Tokyo in the 200, having secured the retaining of her Olympic 400 meter title from uh, Rio but she's world championship silver medalist she'd like to improve that to gold Rasidat Adeleke of Ireland born in Dublin the European under 20 champion last year at 100 and 200 meters nice lane draw that lane five Anakil Basinska of uh, Poland goes in four very close to her personal best over 400 meters and I showed a form recently for uh, one lap the pole 50.31 Candice McLeod fifth in Tokyo the Jamaican good performer good solid performer in their relay team again and again she's run a 50.2 this year but she has broken 50 before Tabata Vitorino of Brazil second in the Brazilian championship this year she's run 51.99 she needs to go a lot quicker here if she wants to threaten for a place in the final and Katia Azevedo of Portugal 51-2 this season, but she has run 50.5. That's a frustrating lane draw for her, lane one. So, the Jamaican, Candice McLeod, probably reasonably happy with lane three. She'll be chasing down the pole. Kiel Basinska, that's a good target for her. The pole will enchant in turn from lane four, be chasing down Adeleke of Ireland. Who goes in five then? Shauna Milowibe, the Olympic champion, goes in lane six. Irby of the USA in seven. And Ahurugu, well, she'll be running blind for a lot of the race in lane eight. <laughs> and away they go. And already Shauna Milowibe is closing up on Irby outside. And Milowibe there in that turquoise top for the Bahamas. Easing up almost effortlessly alongside Lina Irby and Uhurugo. She's passed them before the halfway point. Lovely, languid, rolling style. She's got so relaxed. Almost a notable acceleration there on the crown of the bend. Good running inside her from uh, McLeod of Jamaica in the yellow and green. Kielbasinska chasing hard too in the white and red for Poland. But it is McLeod who comes with second place at the moment. Look at Miller Weibo striding away. Was that a little glance to her left to see what's going on? No threat from the outside or inside for her. She wins it comfortably. Great finishing there. Third for Kielbasinska, but great finishing from McLeod of Jamaica. Although it albeit a long way down on Miller Weibo. And the time, 49.56. Well, that's the season's best for her. And only uh, one athlete in the world this year has gone quicker than that. And that is Marilady Paulino, who uh, goes in the third semi-final. That looks like she had an enormous amount in reserve. There it is, 49.56. Uh, Five, in fact, has been adjusted to a season's best for her. Candice McLeod, 50-0-5 in second place, makes it through to the final. Good running from Kiel 50.65 for third place. And uh, Kiel Basinska just making her way up there. But Shawnee Miller-Webo, she's been pretty honest in the press, uh, saying she is coming back from injury, that she's been trying to balance her training, trying to work her way back. Her win in Paris was almost awkward. She was kind of looking scared looking around to see if anyone was going to challenge her but she looked great in her heat making the semi-final and to go significantly under 50 seconds taking a chunk off her season's best and that she ran all the way back in April that to me says Shawnee Miller-Webo is in shape and she could give Marilady Paulino